What's up, everybody? My name is Cabby from TSN, and you're watching Juno TV. All right, so what did you have for breakfast? I had green tea and a bowl of Captain Good Crunch. If we weren't to find, what would we find you if not on camera? Uh, uh, probably a very hall at York University because there's a lot of girls that come through there. There's a certain arch on campus. You just, I just post up, just like this. You do know that they're, they're gonna post your picture up now. You're not gonna be able to go in there anymore. Now. I have a lot of costumes. <laughs> yeah. Become another person. Uh, <laughs> tell us something about you that your fans do not know. I have a, I'm very, no, they do know I'm very average. Uh, average? I'm very average. Like, Mediocrity is like, that's my wheelhouse. Yeah. yeah. I, I've, I've never played sports well. I'm around athletes all the time, okay. but I, people ask me like, do you play basketball? I'm like, no, I'm awful. Do you, like the, the, the sport I played the most in high school was uh, baseball. Um, but you can't just go play a pickup game of baseball <laughs> anywhere. Everybody? Yeah, no, it's like basketball you can go play, soccer you can play, hockey you need, to, like I'm a horrendous athlete. Uh -oh. Yeah, exactly. I'm, a, I'm a one out of 10. What would you? <laughs> but, but, I'm an above average kisser. I'm gonna move on. Yeah, just, uh, just hand, yeah. let that moment marinate. Yeah, let it go. Uh, <laughs> what would you say is the hashtag that best describes Cavi? Hashtag fat. Hashtag? Fat. What word? With, with F-A-T, not P-H-A-T. I was gonna say P-H-A-T, no? No, not, no, no fat. All right, and, uh, and then hashtag uh, overachiever. Nice. Raptors or Leafs? Raptors. Sure. Why? Uh, I'm. I know. I know this is gonna sound too Toronto, but I. I'm not really a fan of Leaf fans. Yeah. They're too fanatical. So, it, so it's just like it, they're obnoxious. And there are fan bases in our country, the hockey fans, that are just they're too much. Montreal and Toronto. It's like one and one A, and it flip flops every game. This is too much. It's, is, is it also to do with the fact that? It's, uh, Raptor fans are our generation, and with Leaf fans are like generations and generations. And generations. No, no, because no, they're they're young Raptor fans and young Leaf fans, and I have friends that play on the Leafs, and I love those dudes, but I just can't. The fans are just too much, so I'll go Raptors. Are they looking for you? That's like we should get down. <laughs> yeah. What would you say is your most memorable interview you've done? I was lucky enough to go to Mike Tyson's house. And we were in his backyard, and I'm talking to Mike Tyson, and at the end of the interview, he rubbed Vaseline all over my face. Yeah, the way you're looking at me is the way he looked at me when I asked him to do it. <laughs> like, Mike, can you rub Vaseline on my face? I know I'm a grown man, and so are you. And, but this is just a thing that is gonna happen on this Tuesday afternoon. I'm wondering, and everybody else is wondering, why? I wanted to know what it was like to be a boxer. And I didn't understand why, like in between every round, the boxers, like their, their ring, their corner guys would rub all this Vaseline on their eyebrows and on their face. And he said it was, so the punches slide off. So then I got a whole thing and I, I he coated my face with Vaseline. Probably, that's a moment I'll never forget. <laughs> I would say so. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and the only, Cabby. Thank you, my Anything dude. Anything but average. I appreciate that.